Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you please invite your friends and share the link with everyone you know Today before we start we would like to remember those who die in 9-11 9-11 it was a day where a bunch of evil terrorists attacked in USA But we need to remember that 9-11 is one day of many millions of days where Islam did attack and many innocent being killed and actually every day there is 9-11 in Africa but nobody remember them because they are poor and they are African people only remember those who they are great countries but if you are from a poor country who remember you you can go right now and search for slaughtering Christians in Burkina Faso or in the Ivory Coast or in the central of Africa or in Nigeria Slaughtering Christians and non-Muslims never stop But we remember always only Big countries Or let us say important citizens sadly Where all human beings should be remembered for all blood is equal Before we start I would like to remind everybody that we are not here to attack Muslims or to speak against Muslims I would like people to speak nicely and gently and to discuss with Muslims in a peaceful way Anyone he will make a you know hateful comment. We are going to block you Here we expose the teaching of a cult not people people are people they are misleaded as I believe They need our help not our anger. I Saw an article and this article saying It's written by a Muslim six Quran quotes that teach love tolerance and the freedom of religion and this is in a website called good news written by a Muslim man at the end of the article you will see his name Islam according to the Quran teach love and compassion to every human being no matter their religion now I'm going to open my Skype and I challenge any Muslim to show me where this is coming from where Islam teach to love all mankind no matter what their religion if there is any Muslim in the chat would like to give us a call so either this is a lie or this is something can be proven if we go down in the article uh, actually the, the person here is quoting a guy his name is Adnan Oktar but Adnan Oktar, right now he is in jail for terrorism activities and uh, human trafficking. If we search his name right now in Google, Adnan Oktar, Turkish TV preacher, arrested on a fraud, blah, 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 human trafficking, uh, children, uh, sexual trafficking, blah, 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 blah. More than a 100 count of a crimes, including terrorism. This is the one who you bring me uh, to read him or to read his uh, Islam. That is the one you want us to believe you. He is the one will teach us what Islam is about. All right. So uh, very bad choice. However, we give the opportunity to Muslims. Forget about this guy. Well, maybe this guy is a fraud, but doesn't mean that the religion is a fraud. You know, you have this is a different issue. Islam, the word Islam diverged from the word mean meaning peace in Arabic. That's a big fat lie. Islam is the opposite of peace Islam is when you go and you see somebody and you want to kill him So you say to him surrender or you or you die that what Islam is the word peace in Arabic is salam Islam is the opposite This is why if we go in the hadith we will find Muhammad saying aslim taslam Aslim Taslam what does that mean? Being convert to Islam, you don't die. So how is Islam mean peace? How is that mean peace? Aslam to Islam.
Do you see it? I call you to Islam. If you become a Muslim, you are safe. Do you see it, guys? You are safe. So what will happen if you don't convert? He will be he will die. <laughs> this is what Islam means. So those articles are meant to speak to the fool, and many of us is fool when it's come to Arabic and the religion of Islam. I mean, ignorance is something normal in this world. You know, me myself, I can be ignorant about many things. So being ignorant is is normal. Especially these days, everything is a fast food. A school don't teach you really real history. They teach you their own history. School, they teach you that the crusade were, were bad people when the crusade is the one who saved you and saved the world. If not the crusade, all the worlds today, they will be under ISIS. That is the truth. The crusade, they were fighting back. They were not fighting first, which means the crusade, they were defending, not attacking. But if you go to school, they will say to you the crusade. Do you know what the crusade did? What they did? They fought the one, the invasion. This is what the crusade did. For 600 years before Christ and after, sorry, after Christ, there's no crusade. Did you ask yourself why? Why the Christian did not make a crusade? Because they did not invade anyone and nobody invade them. They are fighting back. And who is the one doing the aggression? Muhammad. So all this propaganda is just to fool you and you as a person who go to uh, uh, all kinds of schools and all schools today are secular teaching you false information. You know, I learned in, uh, through, uh, through my life that in the Middle East they teach us false history. In the West they teach false history. Everybody teaching false. Everybody is teaching lies. Even your science today is based on stupidity. As an example, they say to you the Big Bang as if it's a fact when the Big Bang is a theory. Okay, how, why you are teaching me about the Big Bang? Somebody he have a, a a thought about how the world is created, and he come with this theory, and then you teach it to me as if it's a fact, but it's not. But that's it. They are controlling the system. It's became the whole world became secular, and nobody want to use his brain, and everybody is copy paste. You go anyone if you don't uh, if you don't believe the Big Bang now they will they will laugh at you. But what Big Bang? So history is written by those who they are victorious, and the history of Islam written by Muslims, not by the one who lost. As an example, the Muslim, when they speak about the enemy of Muhammad, they make them the most disgusting evil people. But in the Arab, before Islam, they use them to be more, one million better than the time of Islam. Actually, even Muslim, they say, before Islam, there was a 360 idol around the Kaaba. What does that mean? That means there's a 360 religion in one tiny square, and nobody killing anyone. That is before Islam. You believe it? What happened after Islam? All those 360 are slaughtered. Where are they, the 360 religion? Islam is tolerance. Okay, I want to believe you. Where is the Christians and the Jews in Saudi Arabia? Where is the Sabian? Where is the atheist? Where is the gays? Where is the lesbian? Where is the believers? Where is the non-believers? Where is the Hindus? Where is the Buddhas? Zero. You see how much tolerance they have? So they, you know, name for me one country, I can't change my religion in it. It's Islamic country. Name for me one country by law, you as a Muslim can change your religion. Islam is a religion of tolerance, all right? The Quran teach tolerance. I want to see that. Isn't it Muhammad who said the one who changed his religion kill him? What they are talking about? Are we lying or they are lying? Because one of us is lying. One of us is lying. We cannot be both of us truthful. How many church there is in Saudi Arabia? The Muslim, they say to us that the first wife of Muhammad was a Christian. Okay, where is the Christian in Saudi Arabia? Muhammad was a very tolerant person. 
Actually, Muhammad he said, let us show you what Muhammad said to show you the terrorists. <laughs> the Christian and the Jewish genocide. Is that Muhammad talking or me? I heard the message of Allah saying, I will be certainly expel the Jews and the Christians from the Arabian Peninsula as to leave only Muslims in it. Do you see how much tolerance we have? Look like Muslims, they have uh, all those who write articles. They have different version of Islam we never heard of. Or maybe they replace their prophet Muhammad with Mahmata Gandhi. Or Jennifer Lopez. Who is your prophet these days? We do not know. Why they are not being honest? So who is the one who says, I've been ordered to kill all mankind unless they convert to Islam? Is that Mahmata Gandhi? Is that the Buddha? Is that Jesus the Christ? It's who? What those people are talking about? And this is what Muhammad he practiced. He sent the message. He sent the letter to the to the ruler of Jerusalem. Says, convert or die. And if you don't want to die, you have to pay me. And this is exactly what happened in chapter nine, verse twenty nine in the Quran. Actually, the Quran make it clear that Muslims cannot be good and peaceful with non-muslims you see the muslims they say to you they quote for your verses which is have nothing to do with, the, with what we are talking about as an example they say to you uh, quran says there is no enforcement in religion but, but muhammad was talking about what talking about your children you cannot force them not to convert to islam but if you leave islam we will kill you which means you cannot force your children <coughs> not to accept islam it's one way freedom but not a Muslim, he can change his religion. <clears throat> yeah, one of his name is Abdahuq al Qattal, which means he's, he, he laughs when he's slaughtering people. That's a good post. Abdahuq al Qattal. He laughs while he is slaughtering people. Aisha reported that Muhammad he slaughtered and butchered and enjoy it 900 Jews in one morning so those articles which is not by the way this website is not a uh, not a Muslim website but this is you know those website who post anything supposedly teach terrorists it's called good news no one should be forced to believe in Islam are you, are you kidding me chapter 2 verse number uh, uh, 256 but this is not as, as I said, this is the opposite. This is not saying you cannot force somebody to convert to Islam. This is a perverse saying you cannot force someone not to convert to Islam. Because as you see, Muhammad says, kill the one who changed his religion. <laughs> Whoever changed his religion, kill him. Is that a weak hadith? No, sahih, which means authentic, very authentic, which means it's equal to the Quran. And the Quran says, fight those who don't believe in Allah. Chapter 9, verse 29. And the Quran even says, don't be good for those who don't believe in Allah. You can be good only to deceive them, which means, okay, try to be good with them so maybe they would accept Islam. But Muhammad later, he don't want that because he do not need it. And look what he said. Chapter 58, verse number 22. You will not find between the Muslims anyone will be friendly and nice to those who they are against Allah and his prophet. Is that a weak Quran? You will not find any people who believe in Allah and the last day making a friendship with those who oppose Allah and his messenger. Do you see it? Which means the one who make a friendship with those who oppose Allah, which means they don't believe in Islam, are not Muslims. Do we have any Muslim would like to make any comment? 
so what this article is about this article is about you know let us speak to those fool uh, Western full Asian full Indian full Arab for whatever those who don't have any knowledge of this cult and we make an article and we quote from here and there and the quotation have nothing to do with the topic the verse he's quoting for us is the opposite it's about you cannot force someone not to convert to Islam not about you can you cannot force someone to you should not convert somebody by force Muhammad he made it clear I I've been ordered to kill you see here the word fight fight by what fight by the tooth is a brush at the Muslim they say but beat your wife with toothbrush huh the hypocr the hypocrisy and the lies fight fight to kill them I've been ordered to go in war slaughter by the sword to commanded and I will fight them until they testify that there's no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger and they have to establish the prayer and they have to pay me money and then and only then I will not kill them and the story in the front of you this is not my words uh, we have a Muslim here let me show you his comment this is a, uh, this is a great example of Muslim deception this person he says Jesus says slay them in the front of me you are a liar and stupid sorry to say because this is a verse about the judgment day that Jesus never slaughter anyone and Jesus never killed anyone read the verse before it and the verse after it people will laugh at you you are a liar like the same as your prophet thank you very much nice to meet you and by the way this verse alone is a proving that Jesus is God because the Muslim they say to us where well, Jesus says I'm God this is in the judgment day Jesus will order the angels and they say to you where Jesus said I'm God <laughs> that verse alone proving that Jesus is God he is ordering the angels not us bring them that is the judgment day my friend in the judgment day people they, they will go to hell and your prophet will be the first one to be shipped for his crimes sexual crimes you know rape uh, theft killing lying deceiving you name it we can count maybe millions of crimes in the name of Muhammad this is Muhammad and this is Islam so what those articles about is nothing but to fabrication so they can fool you now who is a Muslim is willing to call me live on air and get me busted anyone who is a Muslim is willing to call me live on air and get me busted I like to get busted It's my hobby. I go to sleep, I dream about it. Like when one day is gone, when this dream will come to be true. So who is a Muslim here would like to help us? Anyone? Don't you want to show that the Christian Prince is not sharing the truth? Here yeah, we give you, you know, a great opportunity. To show people that this is not what the true is really happening. This guy is not telling you really what's happening. What do you say? <clears throat> Anyone? We have a Muslim here, I don't know. I think we will have a tornado soon, so I hope we will not lose electricity. I see the wind is getting crazy. Uh, someone is asking, he says, okay, yeah, we have a Muslim calling, hold on. Hello? Uh, hey, CP. Yes, my <laughs> Uh, my question is not exactly about the topic, but it You're was Muslim, more right? about Christianity. You're a Muslim, shortly right? question. Yeah, I've been calling you before. If you remember, I had questions about 
this yeah. prophecy in Quran, if you remember it. All right. The seventh prophecy you still, of Quran. You're still a Muslim now? Until now? And uh, now, actually. No, you left the Islam. Oh, you left Islam. Don't you? Yeah, want to three months ago, I left the you Islam. You don't get the versions. Uh, excuse me. You don't want to. Don't you? Don't like to get the versions. Uh, no. No. I mean, it's uh, big and beautiful. They will be white, transparent. You can see the mirror of their bones. Don't you like that? You don't like. Bones? Yeah, but. You know, I'm 21 years old and I've been reading the, the Quran like okay. in Arabic so language and I never read the translation of it. And uh, three okay. months ago, so I started reading the translation. Arab. So logically, I stopped to believe, believe that. But my Arab. question so you, was you are, it's, uh, shortly Arab. about Christianity because yesterday I've been watching your stream. Right. And uh, yeah, I saw that you've been, you are good in Christianity too. Mm -hmm. So maybe you so might you have a good us? answer. Yeah, well, go ahead. Uh, when the Jesus come after that, he showed that he's the son of God, right? Hmm. And uh, sure. after that, he showed how to get in paradise. But uh, those people who were before Jesus come, uh, what's happened with them? Like when they die, depend, they gone uh, to uh, depend, depend, paradise. Depend. The one, yeah. uh, let us say somebody, he lived in the jungle in Brazil. He never heard about anything you know like he never heard about Moses or anything you know God will judge him by what he know that's simple as yeah. simple as that God will judge you by your ability let's say there's somebody now he is born but he have a, a health issue a mental issue God will not judge him yeah. the same he judge me and judge you that's not fair so everyone will be judged by his knowledge and by his knowledge what he knew and what he did which means God when he created us in the time of Adam mm -hmm. Adam is the first man. Uh, uh, so even Adam, he knew, he'd been taught about what is right and what's wrong. You see, the story of the apple is about God. He taught Adam and he told him what's wrong and what is right to do. So within us, we are born. You see, you as a mm. human now, if you slaughter somebody, you know it's ugly. You feel it, right? You do not need yeah. to. Uh, so those things, you know it's bad. When you rape a woman, I mean, you know that you are doing something wrong. So God, he occupied us already with some knowledge of what is right what's wrong so if you ignore that knowledge and you do what is wrong then you will be judged by what you know so if you are if you are a person who live in a tribe and your tribe never heard of jesus so so what still you will be judged by what you know and what you know is uh, doing right and wrong based in your knowledge so it simply was like judging by their what they have done in their life Yes, by the, what they've like done in their life and their knowledge, remember, good or their bad. knowledge, which means uh, uh, what what they've been, what what they have, what God mm -hmm. He gave them. You see, like God, He will not mm -hmm. tell you, okay, I'm going. Uh, like there is a story in the Quran. You speak Arabic, as you said, uh, where Allah supposedly He made the fish disappear in Saturday, right? Mm -hmm. That is a stupid. Yeah. Our God will not do that because you make them hang hungry, and then you made the fish co come only. Uh, in Saturday, and then you say to them, Don't fish in Saturday. Who is the stupid here? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, God, yeah, don't yeah. do that. God, don't play games. You know, God, He says to you what is right, what's wrong, and then He judge you by mm -hmm. what you know. Uh, uh, in Islam, it's 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 mad, it's a crazy. This guy is his name is Allah, supposedly playing games. He told them, Don't do fishing in Saturday, but He made the fish only appear in Saturday. Now, who is the bad person? Mm -hmm. Allah, obviously, oh, he, he's the bad guy. He's playing now. The, the, the people are obeying him. They don't want to do fishing on Saturday, but he hired the fish and he made the fish swim in the top of the water and do belly dancing, as, as the verse says in front of us. So uh, uh, we don't believe in such a madness in Christianity. Yeah. And um, the one more question about... Uh, I uh, I know that uh, like Christianity says like God in a three ways uh, holy spirit and uh, jesus and uh, like father or god like not three ways you know three person three person you see yeah, three in, persons. you speak arabic right no i don't no okay so i am from uzbekistan all right so you know when say uh, you know uh, is god almighty or he is not almighty he is okay so when we say god is almighty then why why Muslims they are limiting what God can be? I mean, who is the one who decides what God can be? It's like saying you know, uh, saying to the uh, uh, like saying to you you 
Oh, you and you, <laughs> your name is Wahid. You cannot have two eyes. You should have three eyes. But I have two eyes. This is how I am. So the Muslims playing the game of playing like they play dumb. Like, okay, I'm not going. Okay, no, no way. He cannot be. It cannot be. Okay, God, God is one. God is one. But God, He taught us how He is. And actually, if you go and read in the Quran, you will see this the, the author of the Quran is an ignorant. He claimed that this God is one, but then he says in different verses that if Allah he want to take a partner, he will take it from the one with, within us. You know, okay, who is us? If we ask the Muslims, Allah will take partners from us. Who is us? Hmm? Yeah. yeah they, they don't answer. Then we go to the interpretation. We will find that Allah is speaking about uh, uh, the, the versions who they are us. That's mean Allah is a human too. And mostly uh, he's uh, just uh, like everybody is a male and he have a private part. Otherwise, how he was going to take a partner from uh, uh, us? Who is us? We are talking about taking a partner. You see, the Muslim they say when Allah says we, he talk about himself in a majestic way, which I find it funny, because if Allah make himself majestic by saying we, I mean, okay, I will say we too. <laughs> Talk well, this uh, chapter call or this is chapter, chapter twenty one, verse number seventeen. Had we intended to take a pastime, i.e., wife or a son, partner, we could surely have taken it from us. Okay, how Allah will take a wife from us? If there is any Muslim in the chat, he can help us. Allah will take a partner. You see, they say royal us, but this is Allah talking about taking a partner. <laughs> mm -hmm. Unless you are saying that Allah, he will he will marry himself. Allah is a transgender. He have a, a double. Uh, he's like Satan, according to Muslim Satan. Allah created for him a private part in the right th uh, thigh in his, uh, his leg, and uh, uh, the private part for women uh, in the left uh, uh, one. And he shake this and he enter this into that and then he lay eggs this is what the muslims believe is there in quran written this huh or is it had this no this is in the, the, in the interpretation because the quran this is in their interpretation because the quran says that shaitan have children yeah i know that it's, yeah look what muhammad like qasim is, look what muhammad qasim said we said this is about a high hypothetical uh, uh, impossibility question but this is stupid to say you just said if he will take it doesn't matter if it's high but uh, no, it doesn't matter and where it says imp it's impossible i mean where do you get the word impossible he says if we want to take we will take from this but we are not going to do that but he just confirmed that us us is a human is a bunch of women who they are living with him in his house so how god can be partner with a human in bed you see, even even when we talk about sexuality, you can you cannot have dog and a horse. You can, you can have horse and a donkey from the same family, but you cannot have a dog and a horse. So Allah is going to have partner. She is a woman. He have to be a human. Then he cannot be a horse. Even though there's a story says that Allah Himself He created Himself from a, from the sweat of a horse, which is very crazy. What else, Wahid? So, Wahid, you, you left you left Islam because of what you are watching my videos, or this is different? Uh, it was like right timing to start to watch your videos. I actually started to read Quran in my language and mm. in Russian language, and uh, yeah, simply I couldn't believe, so I read that in four languages, and uh, yeah, it simply shocked me those uh, verses. I read it only under eight eight chapter. Mm. And uh, they, there I found like many things, but the, you know, all my family are Muslims and I, I'm come from a Muslim country and we're like actually strong Muslims, we can say, because uh, the thing is mostly Muslims, they read the Quran and they simply either they don't understand or they don't read everything, but we read and we understand and we believe that is the true. We think that is the true. That is the way to get in paradise. So even those in ECS, you can, you can maybe, I don't know if you know or not, but most of them are Uzbek, their nationality. So mm. I've been, I never knew there is another like true, I accept uh, Allah and accept book, uh, the holy book, this Quran. So I was always thinking this is the truth. So I was just simply reading in Arabic, like Russian letters, but Arabic words, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
like I learned at Fatiha and yes, and, and this uh, other surah without knowing the translation. So mm. yeah, you just recite the, it, but you memorize, but you don't understand what you are reading. I understand. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's how I was doing. And um, about three months ago, now I'm reading with the new eyes, and it's, uh, it's simply shocking me over. So I'm getting like more and more shocked. Well, I'm happy for now. you, my friend, that you decide to leave Islam and. Uh, if you like me to help you with your family, let them call me. I will be happy to talk to them. I, that's why I wanted to ask you if if I can make some like private calls some other time or yeah, how if, could uh, I? If you have if there family, is any ability, to me, yeah, no problem. She, my mom, you know, she prays uh, five times per day, and uh, I will be happy to talk to her. But she, do do she speak English? No, she don't. I guess. Yeah, that will so, make it hard for me to help her. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I can make it. Like maybe I can ask you first questions or maybe talk to her first get her answers and then ask yeah. you you know what well, i mean anyway, so anyway, i won't uh, I will, waste happy. your time either no problem i will be happy to help my friend anytime but uh, so in case i can write up you here in skype so. yeah if i am oh, online I, yeah. I will i will answer yeah. you no problem because right. I, I don't use skype really usually like i go i open it when i am uh, on, online but you can All give right. me questions or anything i will be happy and i can make a video even about it yeah, thank you so much, CP. I appreciate it. God bless you. Take care. Bye bye. You too. Bye bye. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Any Muslim? Nobody. Where is the where is the great uh, where is the Ustad of Indonesia and the Ustad of uh, Brother Antithar? I'm going to teach you today a scientific medical in the Quran. Something nobody ever did for 14 years. Where are they? Where are they? Those all uh, who recite the Quran asking for donation. This is the best they can do. I'm here. Where is this guy? He have an Arabic name, Qalb Bari. On a sent heart. Why you don't call me? Islam is a religion of confusion. A book is full of shish kebab, hum hummus. Actually, uh, I wish it's shish kebab hummus. Those are delicious. Spoiled food. Routing food. And here we go. The proof in front of you. Who is the Muslim? Can call me right now and give me any reasons to believe in this religion. Just anything. Is it the violence? Is it the hate? But it is. I blocked you. Yeah, give me your name in Skype. I will call you. Give me your ID in Skype. I will call you. Let us see. You are, you are saying I'm I blocked you. Uh, no, we want only Muslims to call us, please. No Christians. Any Muslim? First of all, you see, just to, just to show you, he says he called us Nasara. And let me ask you a question. That's mean. That's mean. You are not talking to us. You are talking to somebody who is not exist. Proving Muhammad to be a false person. Who is Nasara? This is a name nobody ever heard of. Nasara. <laughs> and how you call us Nasara, which means we are the helpers of Jesus. If we are not following Jesus, again, this is a stupid name given to us either we don't deserve it and that will make Allah and Muhammad is stupid or we deserve it that will make Muhammad and Allah stupid choose one which one anyway 
I mean, how I can blame you? You are a person who believe that the sperm is coming from the backbone of the man and from the ribs of the women. You obviously, you have a great uh, understanding of Allah and Allah have a great understanding of you. Both of you, you understand each other very well. Now, this God is amazing. He knew things nobody knows. He was able to find out where the sperm of your father was coming from. It's from the backbone. Look like the word testicles for Allah does not exist. He never heard of it. Maybe it's a decoration there. It's like a two lamps. Huh? This is the God you are trying to invite me to believe in? This is God? I mean, your God must be full of knowledge. Who can resist such a... This is a clear proof that Allah is God. And in now science, they, they did not discover this. Only Allah discovered it. And this is proven, brother, to be scientifically accurate. Any Muslim? Stop blocking and answer. Why church reject legal? What, what, what? Where is what? Where? Uh, illegal gospel? Legal and illegal gospel? What does that mean? <laughs> Why church reject legal and illegal? I mean, is that English or this is just Spanish? Stupidity. Well, ask yourself the same question. Why your God Allah approved the gospel? You rejected Muslims. Allah in the Quran says He approved what is with them. So who is the stupid here? Allah approved the legal gospel. Muslims don't approve it. Is that your Quran? Uh, this is not the Quran. This is Yellow Pages book. Huh? Does it say here confirming what is with them? So your God confirm what is with us. Do you confirm it too? Or you don't agree with Allah? You don't. Because you don't care for Allah. Allah is a joke for you. Allah is just a, you know, you remember him only when you recite Al-Fatiha, but the Quran you ignore it. Hypocrite people. How Allah, he, he confirmed what is with us. What is with them? That is about what is with them at the time of Muhammad. Confirming what is with them. Is. Hmm? The Bible says the earth is a flat. Show me the verse so we can laugh. That's absolutely false. The Bible says the four corners of the earth. This is a figure of speech and use until now. George Bush, he used it. Hosni Mubarak, he used it. Uh, uh, you, all your Muslims, you use it until now. This is about direction. This is not about the earth is a flat. Actually, the Bible is the only book spoke about the earth as a globe, as a globe hang on nothing. And this is before a human being figure out the shape of the earth. Right? How long took the scientists to find out? How many thousand years? If you go right now to Isaiah chapter 40 verse number 22 read it and think about it
Do we have any serious Muslim? The miracle of the Quran mentioned the name. Okay, well, hold on. Let me see this uh, gentleman here. <coughs> His name is Hamad. Hold on. All right. The miracle of the Quran. Uh, Isa has mentioned 25 times. Adam was mentioned 25 times. It shows how they are similar. Okay, let us see and love together. I will type the word Isa. And this is the result. 16. I will type the word Adam. Twenty. Do you want me to change the website? I will change the website. Give me a second. I, you know, I did many videos about those fraud. All those things are fraud. The fraud of Islam. All right. This is another website because it have more uh, uh, more tools for research. Here we go. All those numbers which Muslims they speak of are a fraud. I will type the word Adam again. And I will make it all the words as you see. Oh, we are typing in English, sorry. We go to Adam. Adam here appear 30 times. You said it 25, right? Okay. I will make it exact phrase. 20 times, which means that one was accurate. I will make Isa now. Exact phrase, 16 times. It's a fraud, my friend. You have nothing but a fraud. All those numbers about the Quran are a fraud. And we got it busted all over. It is wrong? What do you mean it's wrong? What do you mean? I'm not sure what do you mean. And se secondly, you say to me, Isa and Adam is the same. That is stupid because they are not the same. This is a verse in the Quran. Allah, he says that Isa and Adam are the same. But he did not say that because their numbers are equal, as you are claiming. Look what Allah said. Just to show you the ignorance of the Muslims. They are desperate. Chapter 3, verse number 59. Allah, he said they are the same because he said to them, be and they was. He did not say they are 25 here and 25 there, which is a false number. And this is a proving to me again that Allah is a false God. Anyone knows why, guys? Anyone knows that this is why this is stupid? This verse literally stupid. This, this verse alone is enough to prove Islam to be false. Who knows why? This verse is enough to prove Islam to be stupid. Anyone know? And it's not about dust. Jesus, Jesus, neither Jesus, neither neither Adam was created by B. Okay, here we go. Let us go and see in the Quran how Allah supposedly created Adam. This is stupid. The one who wrote this book is this is officially stupid. Let us see. This is how Allah created Adam. We created Adam from 
sounding clay so he mixed dust with water he made the clay okay number two then he made him he fashioned him as a man this is number two number one he made the clay he, he fashion he, he mixed the, 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 the dust with the water to make a clay number two he fashioned him in the shape of a man number three he blew into him where is the word be and he was <laughs> Same as Jesus. Jesus, according to the Quran, Allah He breathed into Mary private part. Stupidity. Where is where is he and he was? So why he blow in the in her private part? Huh? <laughs> Did he blue or he says be? Did he blew blue and look at the first translation guys he blew into her sleeve into her shirt and garment it says for jaha her private part have you ever heard of, a, of, of somebody making someone get, deliver a baby by blowing into her uh, sleeves and do, why the sleeves I mean sleeves is not just a clothes do he blew inside her or in the sleeve <laughs> <laughs> what a comedy they are trying to hide the truth they say he blew into it's in Arabic it says Farajaha she protected her vagina you see here they say who guarded her Farajaha not a chastity the same word liars Any Muslim? All this cult is just a collection of stupid things. Hmm? This is what Islam is about. Allah making verse to Muhammad. He says, "You can delay the women he want to sleep with, and you can, uh, uh, you know, like uh, take them right away if you wish." I mean, this is this is the worry of God. Allah, he made Muhammad, he said to him, any woman she want to take off her panty for you, she's welcome. Have you ever heard of a religion like this? One of the most common scam and fraud who claim to be prophets or religious leaders, they right away try to sleep with the women who believe in them. That is Muhammad. Welcome to Muhammad. Fantasy word. He made verses saying, Allah, he allowed me to sleep with all those women, including women she gave herself. And look, the Muslim in translation, it says, any women, any believing women, she offer herself to the prophet. And then they put, if the prophet, he wished to marry her. Where it says to marry her? It says he wished to do boom, boom to her. Have you ever heard of a God saying to his a prophet who have already many, many wives, any believing women, she wished to give herself to you. Take me, baby. This is God talking. God saying, God is talking. <laughs> hey, admins, anyone, anyone use bad language? Anyone use the F word, we will block you. So be watch your language, otherwise we will block you. This is a warning. Hmm? Arabian prophet, check the verse that says Adam mentioned 30 times. You will get busted. <laughs> but you said to me 25 times. However, the, the, the numbers of Adam and Jesus did not match. doesn't matter if it's 30 times or not. This is your city. You're just a kid. Did your dad go talk to me? <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, uh, Fadi Harun, you have a question? Any Muslim? Anyone? This is this is God. You know, the, the second you hear that a prophet he is asking his followers to sleep with him and give him money, it is the same moment you notice that this guy is just serving the devil. He is his own God. He is using you. He is fooling you. Any Muslim who is a Muslim he is a proud about Islam and he like to show us something anything is it truly coming from God anyone uh, Bulos I think you are him those kids they are desperately trying to get attention and I don't give them attention anyone who claim to be heaven you know uh, he can he can uh, expose me well he can call me if he is really a man we are live on air but this kid which is you you know come here says did you hear about me no I did not hear about you you are a kid and if you are a man call me I am live on air and my Skype is open. Who is the Muslim he dare to call me? Why you don't call me, Hamad, and we will do it live? Why you don't call me so we can love together? Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim? I keep saying, who is the one who will prove Islam to us? Oh, look what Hamad is saying. So Hamad is saying to you, I can find for you the name of Isa 25 times and the name of Adam 25 times, which is false. But he is ignoring that his God believe that the sperm of the man is coming from the backbone. And the women have a sperm coming from their ribs. He want to focus only in how many numbers, how many times the word Isa is written. <laughs> That's the important one. <laughs> <laughs> what about you tell me about how God he think that the sperm of the man is coming from the backbone uh, by the way I'm sitting at my sperm now because my backbone is where I sit it is the last bone in my in my uh, the, 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 you know I mean this is stupid instead of focusing how many times 25 stupid things which is absolutely false tell me what kind of God does God he think since when the man have a sperm from his backbone is that a miracle science a change what do you mean science change so are you saying to me that in the time of Muhammad the sperm was coming from the backbone and now it's not huh this is does not change anything <laughs> What do you mean doesn't change anything? What kind of God? You do not know how the baby is created. Uh, this verse alone is enough to prove that your God is a, is a fraud. He does not exist. Hmm? And by the way, uh, Arab men, they, their their uh, their sperm is not coming from their uh, backbone; it's coming from their nose. <laughs> New discovery. Brother Alistair, did the person in the name of the Christian prince? And he always call me. And he's saying that it is stupid to say that the backbone is where the term coming from. And actually, I can prove it for you. I trained Christian prince to break his backbone and let us see if he can generate any brain cell in the future. What? 
I trained you to break your backbone and let the TAD can do the job of the job of the And the Muslim like, wow, brother, you just shut him up. You just say to him, we challenge you, break your backbone and let's see if you have any sperm in the future. Sperm coming from the backbone. Uh, <clears throat> hey, just you are just a kid. Uh, uh, let me. Uh, we don't want to waste our time with people who let us force him this kid to call. Call us. If you are really brave, you call me. Who is the brave Muslim who would like to call me live? And show me one proof that Islam. It's good. Anything good in this religion? Anything, anything. I mean, it's a challenge. No, it says from the backbone. Read with me carefully. Are you, are you, ah, you are illiterate like your prophet. No, it says from the backbone. Read with me carefully, Abdul. Meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women so the word between is talking about two individual stop being a fool you see how we got you busted hey christian prince it says between it says between the brother it says between between the man and the women between the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women and here we go this is your interpretation meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women Why you like to get busted? I mean, are you, are you doing it in purpose? Are you sure you're a Muslim? It looked like you enjoy spanking. I don't know. Sound fishy for me. Any Abdul? And yeah, this is what they fool you. They say, no, no, no. It says between, between, between. And you know what kind of God? Let us say for the sake of argument, this is talking about the sperm of the man coming from between this and that. I mean, this is the most stupid between ever. Imagine you go to a doctor and he says to you, all oh, your sperm is coming from your backbone all the way to your neck. What is left? I'm glad he did not say your finger. I mean, what is left if this is what is between? So you are saying to me, your small God is telling us a secret that the sperm is coming from between the backbone and the ribs. <laughs> and by the way, it says here, a sulb wa taraib. A taraib is the location of the necklace of the women. Not only, not only the chest. It is exactly the location of the necklace <clears throat> any abdul actually once i was debating a muslim he says to me i challenge you to read the, the interpretation of arazi arazi is a famous muslim uh, scientist and scholar for the muslim supposedly i went to arazi arazi he says that the sperm of the man is coming from his brain and the proof of that the baby resembled the cells of the brain <laughs> That guy he was taking too much hashish Do we have any Muslim here? Anyone? Any Abdul? <clears throat> Who is uh, Abdul following the religion of Abdulism would like to call us and show us something good about Islam? Anyone? Somebody saying, can you describe God? I mean, this is the, the most silly question ever. 
how you can describe God uh, you know for us as a Christian it's very easy to describe God because the Lord himself he described himself but not as a look description of God is not about a look description of God is about his equality for God known by his equality even Jesus said to us about a human he says from their fruits you shall know them so how we Christians they will know their God is that by a look we never know how Jesus looked like we never saw the father and those who saw Jesus at his time uh, they did not even recognize him that his God until they saw his fruits so the look will not change anything and we would not recognize our God by a look so when you say you know describe for me the property of God that's a very silly question I think somebody trying to be silly show me where the Quran the place where the Quran is being corrupted all oh, the Quran you cannot corrupt the Quran because it's a corrupt book how you can corrupt the corrupt I mean what the point of saying the Quran is corrupted if it's corrupt from the original do you know what I mean? <clears throat> it's like making the fraud a fraud. It's a fraud. Even Muslim today, they don't have one single copy of the Quran. They don't. The Quran they say to have today in front of us, it is a recitation of a guy who came 200 years after Muhammad. And this person, his name is Hafs, accused by Muslims, and they agree upon that, that he is a fraud. So how we can take his Quran? Hey, Hamad, I have no time for, for a dummy talk. Call me. Call me, and I will promise you we will check. You see, Ibn Kathir, he checked already. I mean, who is the donkey here, Hamad? Choose one. Either Ibn Kathir is a donkey or you are. You see, Ibn Kathir already, he speaks Arabic very well. And he's a Muslim scholar, brother. And he come with the conclusion that between mean the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. So deal with Ibn Kathir, brother. Tell Ibn Kathir to check. Tell him, Ibn Kathir, check, check. Hamad, he knew more than you. <laughs> Hamad, he knew more than Ibn Kathir. He knew more than a Jalalain. He knew more all the all the scholars are dummy, stupid. He is the smart Muslim. He's the only one who knows the Quran meaning. Do we have any Muslim here who would like to say something useful? Ibn Kathir can make mistakes. Hmm. What about you? Can you make mistakes? Okay, what is a scholar you agree with? A Jalalain? Which one? Huh? A Jalalain make mistakes too. What about Al Qurtubi? He make mistakes too. What about Al Tabari? He make mistakes too. I mean, look like all of you Muslims make mistakes. Not even one of you is accurate in anything. The only common thing between Muslims these days is they make mistakes. What about Muhammad? This is a good, good. This is a good answer. Here we go. Muhammad himself he explained the verse. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. What about Muhammad? Maybe Muhammad is he don't understand too. Okay. <coughs> Let us see what Muhammad he said about this verse. Read, brother. Read. Read, brother. Read. Read, brother. Read. Your prophet, he claimed that the woman, if she have orgasm first, the baby will look will come as a female, and if the baby have orgasm first, the baby will be a male, and this charge of the women is yellow and thin, and this charge of the man is 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 white and thick, and this is what he's talking about, coming from the between the backbone and the ribs. Maybe your prophet, he is an ignorant too; he do not know. Okay, Hamad, I think you are not even a Muslim. I think you are just here. We are done with you. Who cares if this is Quran or not? This is Quran. 
Muhammad words is the Quran the hadith and the Quran are equal hadith is the word of Muhammad Quran is the word of Muhammad you heard the Quran from Muhammad you heard the hadith from Muhammad if you cannot trust the words of Muhammad in the hadith then how you trust Muhammad saying Quran and both of them they are called hadith even the Quran says the best of the hadith is the Quran Do you see it? Allah نزل أحسن الحديث كتابا متشابها مثاني تقشع الر منه جلو etc. And here, by the way, this verse alone is a proof to us that this is a stupid Quran, because he is saying that when people they read it, their skin will be I don't feel anything except laughing. Do you see what's happening to my skin? I shiver, I shiver, brother, when I hear the Quran. Hmm? Why uh, Paul he quoted a, a pagan a Greek song about Zeus? I don't care about Muhammad. Where Paul he got quoted pagan uh, uh, song about Zeus? Can you show us, please, Mister Zeus? <coughs> That is a false argument. Because when I quote something about something, doesn't mean I am pagan. Any Muslim? If I say right now to you a statement which said by someone before me and the statement is good or bad either I am teaching you bad or I'm teaching you good using that quotation so your your uh, your statement of a pagan is a stupid statement because the whole the whole purpose of any quotation or anything is about good or bad did Paul quote something to you teach you something bad no. <clears throat> Any Abdul? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? Uh, Paul, he is speaking to the Greek and he is quoting for them what they consider a wisdom. Who we are the Nasara? Nasara are most likely it's a cult like Jehovah's Witnesses exist in the time of Muhammad. And it's coming from the word Nazaran, which is which means the poor. They are the, the Christian, they call them with such a name because they have a poor of understanding the gospel and they are rejected. <clears throat> Anyone? Let me see in Skype if there is anyone.
Anyone? I got nothing. Someone is asking why Allah created the human in Islam. Allah created the human in Islam according to the Quran for one reason only to worship Him. That is the only purpose. <clears throat> Chapter 51, verse number 56. And here, if you think about it, like this is like a guy, he is bored. And he decided to create somebody so he can play with. And this body has to be humiliated every day. That is the purpose in Islam. That's why Muslims are slaves. For us, we are the children of God. So the concept of God, understanding position of God for us is different from the Muslims. Actually, Muhammad, he says, if you don't commit sin, Allah will kill you, will destroy you, and he will replace you with people who commit sin. And that here telling us that this God the Muslims they believe in is really sick. You see, in Christianity, you will be destroyed for committing sin, not for not committing sin. In Islam, no. You need to commit sin because if you don't commit sin, you don't ask God for forgiveness. If you don't ask God for forgiveness, God isn't happy. So sin is a requirement for the happiness of Allah. It's like the blood. Allah is like a mosquito. She suck your blood. You have to make a blood. And your blood have to be full of sin. And then you give, you give your blood to Allah. You burn it. Uh, you give it to him five times a day. Uh... And then he forgive you. If you don't commit sin, he is not happy. And the proof in front of you. Right? Am I wrong, Muslims? Tell me the logic of this. Anyone? I'm waiting. I mean, how ugly, how stupid this is a statement more than this. Prove me wrong. This is stupid. This is ugly. This is disgusting. And this is even against all what we learned. God, he destroyed the people of Noah because they are committing sin. God, he destroyed the people of Lut for they are committing sin, not the opposite. Here is the opposite. If you don't commit sin, God will destroy you. Anyone? How many times I say today, any Muslim want to call me? 
and then after we finish and we go offline they will say I tell you crypt templates you're a liar or you will say as a kid he's making a video Christian Prince is teaching you lie brother it's a long translation fast translation why you don't call him <laughs> why you don't call him and <laughs> get him busted live on air who is Israel who according to Christianity or according to Islam According to Islam, nobody knows. There's nowhere in the Quran it says who is this guy Israel. And this is additional proof that the Quran author is stupid. Because how you transformed the character of a person without telling us what happened. Right? In the Quran, there's no there's no definition who's who's Israel. How this guy, how Jacob, or in Arabic we say Yaqub, how this guy, he became Israel. No, no explanation. Nowhere in the Quran it says who is this guy. Suddenly it says Israel, children of Israel, 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 Israel. Because the Quran is not a book. <clears throat> Uh, come on Muhammad you guys look what Muhammad said look what Muhammad said look at this funny excuse Muhammad aren't you the one who asked your sheikh and you yourself call me and you've been you got busted many times so look what happened Muhammad you just by saying this statement it requires search research to bust you that's why I don't call you that's mean until now you could not all after all the research you could not bust me in anything you are listening to me for how many months now a year how many times you call me? So you are saying in order to get you busted, the Christian prince, we need to get somebody he knew is what we are you are talking about. We are a bunch of ignorant here. Aren't you the one who get me your scholar, your shake, and he he he, he turned up to be a fufu? You forgot the recording is there in the page. Yeah, what about you make a video research and now you do it. Get me your research right now. Because they are potatoes, they don't, you know, they, they, they are lying. They are not doing research, they are lying. I show the proof, I show the reference, I show the Islamic interpretation. Do you remember your shake? When I said to you that I, I said to him that Aisha, she said that the goat ate the the, the chapter of uh, breastfeeding. He said there's no such a chapter. I said, are you saying Aisha is a liar? He said, brother, I need to uh, look uh, study more, and I will come back to you. Oh, we are waiting. So what? He will make a video now. Bunch of kids. I am the only one who go live on air waiting for the one who wanna get me busted. Who is the Muslim Sheikh? That was not your Sheikh, so he was what your driver? <laughs> Aren't you the one who says to me, I'm going to the mosque, and then you agree with him to call us, and he introduced himself that he is the Imam of the Masjid? Where are they? Which one of you Muslims he have the courage to open his Skype so people they can call him live? Ask questions. Take a challenge. Give me Skype of Zach and Nick. I want to call him. He don't need to call me. We ask all those teams who claim to be big deals, big shot. They turn to be potatoes. They run away. I will call you. Don't call me. You are big. I'm no. I'm no one. I'm homeless. Poor me. I will call you. You, are, you. you Muslims are too big. Your highness. You cannot humble yourself to call me. No, I will call you. No problem. Still, you cannot debate me. That is the whole story. Uh, you know, the only thing is convincing me that Allah is a true God that he discovered that the man have a sperm coming from the backbone and I was wondering why my backbone is hurting me I thought it's the mattress no because I'm sleeping on my sperm 
Man. Women, be careful about the location of your necklace. This is where your sperm coming from. Since when women have a sperm? Hmm? Earth is a flat sperm coming from the backbone. Women have a sperm coming from the ribs. The sperm transformed became a congealed dead blood. I mean that. Yeah. Anyone? That's God. Yeah, fly, don't forget the flying carpet. I, I love the flying carpet. Don't remind me of it, please. The flying carpet alone is something. And you see, if you read the Muslim interpretation in English, like after, after let us say, after tax, after transforming, changing, you will see how, how many uh, stupid things they take off from the verses. Brother, Allah, he promised me in heaven. I will be wearing a bracelet and this bracelet brother from gold what I'm going to heaven to wear a bracelet from gold why am I female why a man would like to wear a bracelet from gold and what is the joy in that Why in the world a man he will enjoy wearing a bracelet in his hand? And brother, you will wear a garment from silk, brother. Garment from silk. This is heaven. There's no jeans there. And it's going to be green. You will feel like you are in the surgery room in the hospital. You will wear a green garment. And this green garment is made from a brand. It's called Istabrak. Have you ever heard of a stupidity more than this? In the time of Muhammad, there was a product which is made in Iran by the Persian. It's called Istabrak, which is a green silk. Very famous. It's like saying Gucci. Allah promising us Gucci made by the by the Persian made in Tehran God promising me Gucci 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 <laughs> obviously this guy is trying to seduce them by product around them and then brother you will be laying down a brother and you have a cushion and you will be sitting in a couch as a brother like what couches do yeah because those are Arab by the way they never saw a couch all their life couches is only for princes and you know they are Bedouin he's seducing them by saying to them you will have a cushion brother you will believe it you will have a cushion brother real cushion And look, he is describing to them what kind of a bed. God is talking to me, talking about my bed. Look like God is copying something from Amazon for sale. Hmm. <coughs> yeah, and boys and virgins, women without panties. Oh boy. And each time you sleep with the women, she became a virgin again. Oh boy. Any Abdul? So what, we give up for today? All right. Guys, tomorrow we are going to be in the other uh, uh, channel, which is called the quality of life. So if you like to join us, Tomorrow I will post the link for you and the topic of tomorrow is 
the purpose of life what is our purpose in this life uh, in the other channel we speak about things different from here a little bit you know yesterday we mentioned about uh, uh, you know a topic which is really too much in connection with the coming topic to, it was going to be uh, so if you like to join us that would be a good idea uh, let us see <clears throat> I will give you the link in case you like to join us tomorrow how to find the purpose of life okay let us see here all right this is the video here let us pause for you the link give me a second <clears throat> this is the channel and this is the video and this is the link I will post it for you we will be live in 27 hours it's going to be 8 p.m. New York time tomorrow which means 8 p.m. at night in my time that will be in the morning in Indonesia so if you like to be with us in that channel how to find your purpose of life we will talk a little bit deep in the, uh, uh, about this issue which is involved many things and I chose this picture for many reasons and later I will talk about it so please uh, uh, subscribe to that channel and uh, turn on your notification and uh, be with us tomorrow if you like to discuss this topic that topic we will not talk there about Muslims or Islam this is a different thing totally different that channel have nothing to do with this it's like uh, let us say uh, that that channel is uh, our coffee shop as a Christians and those who like to have a good time uh, with no fighting with anyone or arguing uh, to to have a comfort it's a comfort zone all right it's a coffee a coffee table with uh, good knowledge so if you like to join us this is the link again Sub subscribe and share it in your channel in Facebook so we can be together tomorrow together so with this I want to say thank you as you see I keep calling Muslims who want to come who want to come over who want to call us and as you say after we go off the Muslims they go and make a video or they challenge Christian Prince but Christian Prince when his life all they hide they are not exist someone saying Islam is a growing well eh, this is your opinion I see Islam is dead and the proof that all Muslims don't want Islam you see when you say Islam is growing I don't know what I talking about what not sure not a single Muslim country want Islam and the proof nobody practicing Islam in the Islamic countries Christianity is not a state and a law to practice over a state Islam it is a state which means if you don't have a state you don't have Islam as simple as that so when you say Islam is growing you are talking about falsehood claim because Islam is a state without a state there is no Islam it's just an idea and as long Muslims are refusing to have a state it's mean Muslims are refusing Islam as simple as that and when ISIS decide to make a state Muslim themselves reject the state of Islam aren't you getting it aren't you that means Islam rejecting rejected by Muslims otherwise why Muslim don't want to have to Islamic State as simple as that while we as a Christians China is coming to Christ by tons of millions right now we have more than 40 million Christians in Indonesia the biggest Islamic country in the world and the number is a growing so fast so good so what are you talking about my friend I went to China and I could not believe it ISIS Syrian civil war what does that mean stupid talk 
I mean, just go, go. I mean, uh, ISIS, Syrian civil war, what does this have to do? ISIS is an Islamic state, exists in the time of Muhammad. Stupidity. ISIS is not, this is a summary of Islamic state. The founder of Islamic state is Muhammad. After that, the Islamic state go through stages, try to, to trying to have Islamic state and always they fail. And the last Islamic state, it was the Ottoman. Hello? But the Ottoman themselves did not practice Islam. The only thing they practice of Islam is a theft, stealing land, kidnapping women, but they did not really practice anything about Islam. So don't tell me civil war, Syria. This is the dream of Islam. the real Muslims. The real Muslims, they dream to have a caliphate. That is the truth. And they are not able to establish it because Muslims opposing the true Muslims. So let's say it, make it clear. There's two kinds of Muslims, Muslims by name, and those are the majority, maybe 95%. And there's maybe 5 or 3% are true Muslims. But how they can the 3% three, three, three Muslims overcome the 95 or 97% Muslims? That is impossible. Otherwise, you should find a caliphate in Algeria, in Egypt. You know, when the Muslim Brotherhood, they took over the government, in less than nine months, the Muslims themselves in Egypt kicked them out. Why? Because... Islam was an idea not to practice in the beginning. And then when the Muslim Brotherhood came, the Muslim themselves, they noticed that this is hell. That is stupid to have Islamists in the government. They kicked them out. And this is the case for all other places. And you have an example of false Islam in Turkey. Erdogan, he say, Bismillah al-Lahman al-Lahim, and he recite Quran in every festival. But he practiced nothing of Islam in Turkey. The night the clubs are opening, the, the 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 minister of fatwa and sharia in turkey he said or religion in, in, in turkey he said the one who's paying for our salaries is the night clubs and the bars if we close them we go bankrupt go and see the article this is turkey who is ruled by islamic party but this islamic party don't want to practice islam <laughs> so what islamic is about it you know what i mean guys what is Islamic about the Islamic party of Erdogan if he is not practicing Islam? What is the Islam? What, what Islam is we're talking about? Go, go to Istanbul, go to Ankara, go and see. <laughs> women wear, women walking in the street with no clothes. Go right now and search for live camera in the beach in in Turkey, and see what women are wearing. Go and search for a guy. He is, he's, a, he's a Muslim Dawa person. His name Adnan Oktar and his bikini team, bikini Dawa. <laughs> so where is the Muslims? Oh boy. Anyway, thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. Remember tomorrow to join us in this uh, link here. This is the topic for tomorrow. Tomorrow I will not be in the Arabian Prophet. I will be in the other one, which is called Quality of Life. As you see, this is the name. Let us zoom in. 27, M27. So subscribe there and be with us. Until I see you tomorrow, may the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. See you soon. Bye-bye.